Hi, I'm Tim Lucas. And I'm Donna Lucas. I'm the publisher. And I'm the editor of Video Watchdog. We have published every issue of Video Watchdog right here from our home in Cincinnati, Ohio since 1990. We call ourselves the Perfectionist Guide to Fantastic Video. Fantastic means anything outside the mainstream. Horror, science fiction, fantasy, film noir, sword and sandal, martial arts, everything from the art house to the grind house. In Video Watchdog, you can expect serious literate criticism, consumer guidance, in-depth interviews, and new ways of looking at your favorite movies. We don't talk down to this stuff, we look up to it. We've been doing this since the days of analog VHS and beta, PAL and CCAM, Laserdisc, into the digital era with DVD and Blu-ray. And, and now, now we're going, going digital. digital. We're not doing away with print. We love print. We love the feel of the paper. We love the smell of the ink. Digital is not a replacement. It's an enhancement. Use the link below and take a peek at our current issue, Newly Digitized. We think you'll agree. It's alive. What are the benefits of digital? Imagine this. Thousands of reviews, hundreds of articles by the best film historians in the world, all of them searchable at your whim. Just imagine if all our back issues were available like this. Just imagine the Video Watchdog Digital Archive. All out of print issues back in print, some for the first time in a decade. It's not the end, but a new beginning. Video Watchdog's next evolutionary step. Search for Universal or Hammer or certain filmmakers by name, you'll receive the equivalent of a book's worth of material at your fingertips. Everybody's rushing around wondering what magazines are going to look like in the digital age. But we have the answer, and it works on all platforms. The Video Watchdog Digital Collection brings you something that no one else is offering. A completely cross-platform publication, playable on all devices. Not a replacement for print, but a real evolving complement to print. It becomes available as each print issue is mailed. For the first two months of its life, each new issue will be absolutely free. Most exciting, a digital watchdog can evolve into something more than just a magazine. It can become the hub of a growing interactive fan community. A place to share your thoughts. Your art. Your movies, with the certainty of reaching thousands of like-minded people. Once you start exploring our digital edition, we think you'll experience a new dimension. It's not just on the page. It's, it's alive. alive. Think of it as building a library, an archive of film-related materials that will serve to inform and entertain generations of readers. We can provide 25 years of content, but in order to create this archive, we need our foundation block. That's where you come in. Your contributions will allow us to build the superstructure that will make this vision possible. We invite you to look at our proposal and see all the cool things we're offering. No donation is too small. Video Watchdog has always pointed to new frontiers in film appreciation, film criticism, magazine and book publishing. We hope you'll let us take you to the next level of the digital realm. Your contribution can make our dream a reality. The Video Watchdog Digital Archive, a fully cross-platform resource, making Video Watchdog's Silver Anniversary Legacy available across all devices, all back issues and special editions restored to print, fully searchable, endlessly browsable. Of course, we think it's a great idea. But don't take our word for it. Video Watchdog. It's hard to believe that Video Watchdog is 25 years old. This really dates me because I remember the first day I ever found Video Watchdog. This is, the, uh, this is one of the few magazines, film magazines, left. Uh, and it also happens to be one of the greatest film magazines I think that's ever come down the pike. And um, Donna and Tim have been laboring at this very successfully for the, the low these many decades, and they have something new under collar. They're going to go digital. Now, when I say digital, I mean that the magazine will still be published, but if you go to it digitally, it's enhanced. Uh, you can uh, turn the pages digitally, you can read the articles digitally, you can also um, click through 
to different things. You can see trailers, you can see different interactive photos. You can really interact with Video Watchdog, which is something that uh, we've always wanted to do, but you know, when it's on the paper, there's really just not much you can do about it. You can't get inside those pictures, but now you can. I'm John Landis, and I'm here in support of Video Watchdog. Video Watchdog has consistently been an eccentric publication full of arcane facts about the movies. Usually movies you never heard of, but often movies you have. It has consistently been fascinating, well-informed, and pretty unique. And I support it, and I think it should be online, and I would like you to please help Tim Lucas and help Video Watchdog. I want to talk about the great work that Tim and everybody at Video Watchdog has been doing for years and continues to do to address and embrace the community of die-hard movie lovers, people who care about genre films and the people who made them and continue to make them. Uh, it's by addressing these people and dealing with them with the respect they deserve that lost footage, missing scenes have been found and recovered for, for key movies like uh, even The Exorcist and The Devils. Uh, it has proven not only to the studios, but to anyone who really surveys the, the scene in terms of home video and uh, other means of watching films at home, that there's an audience. There's an audience for not just the latest blockbuster hit, but for films that endure, for films that have staying power, and that a legion of people really truly care about. Uh, they may not number in the millions like the people who line up for the new Hunger Games installment, but they're there, and they matter, and they're intelligent, and they're passionate, they care and love these movies. And Video Watchdog addresses and embraces that audience. I wish them a long and happy life ahead with many more success stories to put in their, their gun belt as a notch of success. Video Watchdog is probably my favorite cinema magazine. I've learned so much from reading its pages. It's turned me on to so many movies from around the world. I don't think there's any other way I could have found out about some of these movies. Some of them have never been released in the United States. I always tell young filmmakers that it's important to know film history. It's only obvious that if you love film you want to, and you want to be a filmmaker, then you want to learn more about films. And Video Watchdog, reading Video Watchdog is one of the best places to do that. I can think of no better place than the pages of Video Watchdog. Now, when Video Watchdog goes digital, an amazing cinema library will be available at our fingertips. So world, get ready. Here it comes. Video Watchdog is going. Hi, I'm Robert Tennell, and I'm here to talk to you today about Video Watchdog, but not as a filmmaker, although as a filmmaker I love the magazine because it exposes me to other films and filmmakers, and that's inspiring. Today I actually want to talk to you about it as a teacher, as someone who teaches film, and what it means to me as an educator. The idea that film students could have access to this huge treasure trove of not only film history, but film analysis, film criticism, discussion about cinema, that they could have these assets at their fingertips on their iPads, on their, on their iPhones, or, uh, that they can be exposed to this level of critical thinking and in turn have that influence their work, that's just so powerful to me. Um, if we want to see better films in the future, uh, we have to find a way to encourage students to think differently about the films that they're seeing and also to help them not forget the great cinema of the past. And I, I don't know anybody that does that better than, than Tim and, and Donna and the people at Video Watchdog. Won't you please support this effort to get Video Watchdog digitized, all 176 issues, and continue supporting them so they can continue scouring the world to get the best, the brightest, and admittedly, some of the weirdest films you can imagine exposing those films to us, and also analyzing them in a way that makes viewing those films a richer experience. I've seen this in action. They sent me a prototype of it. I, I was really impressed, and believe me, I'm a Luddite from way back, but it was easy to use, and it was, um, it was really cool. And I'm hoping to adapt, in fact, some of the tricks that they 
introduce me to uh, for trailers from hell so that we can uh, you know become more interactive uh, on that website too but in any case uh, it's video watchdog uh, it's essential uh, even if you haven't uh, been reading video watchdog then I don't know why you're watching this video but uh, it's uh, it's a great thing and now it's a great thing in two mediums so check it out so we'll see you in print and on the iPad and the Kindle and on Facebook and Nook and whatever else there is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>